Hello and welcome to my tutorial of my castle of uh, Castle Grey that I'm building for CGP Grey just because I was inspired to build him a castle in Minecraft and this is what I've come up with so far. So it is a fairly tall and imposing facade at the moment. Um, regular stone below, uh, cobblestone bands, and stone bricks with stone um, brackets and trim pieces and, and corbels up at the top. I have a nice bubbling lava moat that has begun. Um, be careful at the front door, there are air things to either side to shoot you. Um, that actually happens in Minecraft, but you know, defense. Um, very tall ceilings on the first floor. Uh, this is the central walkway up to where the keep is going to be. It is currently not completely built yet. Um, what you see right here, the little white area, is uh, CGP Grace throne uh, from his castle. So we will walk up the main alley through the courtyard that has farming on one side and animals on the other, uh, up past the burning entrance to the burn room where the castle can sit. And, um, one of the features that I enjoyed was the ceiling. Uh, there's a half brick block in these areas, uh, which I will knock out just so that it becomes visible, uh, and then a full one below. So that's fun. The uh, arched openings over here, this by the way, the purple is my benchmark for how big I wanted the castle to be, so what isn't built yet will be in that area over there and that area over there. Um, stairwell that I just recently built that uh, works its way up the spiral up to the second level. Obviously not built yet, but here's the top of the floor from the, the floor below, so the glowstone will act in both directions. Um, deeper to get to the next floor. Nothing really happening up this way yet. Uh, no actual stairs here. There will be more openings. Let me just engage fly and come to the top. There are dormers up here in the tower, so you can look out in multiple directions and see what's going on. Um, I felt that they were very important to have a tower with dormers. Um, big corbels coming out from the tower, big steep roof, and there are your dormers, and I put a little glow thing at the top just because it seemed special. Um, a lot of the tower is currently lit with lava, um, because it's hard to work with, and I thought that that was kind of a cool status thing to have things built with lava, uh, though there are torches just scattered about because that's fun. Um, there are two beacons on the building, just because then you can find it when you're all over the place. Um, here's a further away shot of the tower we climbed up. Uh, back downstairs. Uh, I need to figure out what to do with this space. I'm not entirely sure what this is going to be yet, because this is kind of the watchtower on the front corner of the building, and some of my other little random builds are out there. There's a, a pink die for number file. Just because I thought, you know, Brady might enjoy that. Um, on this floor, I was starting to build a couple bedrooms, uh, which, or guard stations, which are at the front of the, the, the building. Um, big glow area to keep things lit. This is the front and center of the, uh, the castle. Everything is pretty much either centered or symmetric or counterbalanced left to right. Um, this room actually has the door on it, because I forgot it on the other side. And down another level, do, 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 do. corner. Um, I left the windows open with arrow slits, just because it seemed like the thing to do, because then you can jump up and look out without much trouble, but then you feel like you're inside and you're protected when you have the glass. So. Um, many of the levels are open to the outside. This side I filled in, you notice the other side was open. I wasn't quite sure um, whether I wanted it filled in or, you know, these stairs that are over here, whether they would be spiral stairs here. I hadn't decided. Um, the colonnade in this area uh, is 
supported with pillars and keeping the windows open. Uh, both sides are symmetric, so the side that we're on over here is identical to the side over there where you have glass on the fourth floor, then two levels, three and two, that have the colonnade, and then the, the one below with the, the trees around. So, uh, also you can notice based on my mini map that we have a small section of uh, frost biome or snow biome that's coming into play, which covers part of my structure, which is kind of fun. Um, over the front gate, which is down there, centered we have this uh, porch area that looks out. Uh, there's another porch on that entrance to the castle and that entrance. So there will be three main entrances to the castle, the front entrance, the, the entrance from the mountains, and the entrance from the snow. Um, each of these areas here uh, is a little bedroom with you know bookshelves that kind of hide the door. Um, I don't know if anyone would ever live in these, or if I could you know, turn this type of thing into a hotel or a server, but it just is right now. So down to the second floor, pretty much the same as the floor above, similar proportions. Um, a lot of people build too high, two block high structures, but in order to give this a very generous feel, this is a four high. Uh, with windows in blocks two and three, so they center in the room very well. At the very top, it's six blocks, and the windows are three tall. Um, here's the main pair of libraries, uh, with some enchanting tables and redstone, just for the sake of having redstone um, torches. So um, this is to the left and to the right. There's a, a matching pair of them to the front door. You can see the bridge down there still. Um, so yeah, kept everything uh, mirrored here, and this is the two-story entrance space, which has my uh, lava columns uh, that light the space and provide a nice level of detail. Um, little things like this, where here's a solid block that's got its pillars and posts holding it up, and then switch to upturned stairs allows you to have a horrible effect happening that then turns back into a wall. Okay, random creeper. I will not blow you up because you will destroy my castle. On the first level, where everything's all stone, I deliberately kept no windows because this is, you know, part of the fortifications that there are windows above. Um, something's going to happen down here. I haven't really figured out how I want to decorate the space, but. What I also really enjoy is that you can feel the shape of the tower here and how it's holding itself up out on that column out there. There's a colonnade um, on this side, but then you get your, your lights with glowstone, and um, this leads you to your courtyards. Um, you're very funny. You don't use the glow at night because there's glowstone. Um, very nice without any sheep. There are two entrances or exits to the castle. Um, this is what I'm looking at what and um, I might want to build it just simply based on what not based on what it was. I actually see a great of a color and what I might want to accent with. I ended up doing it with nether brick because it had the most versatile shapes because you have your regular block, you have your half block, and you have your stair block, all of which I have used to good effect. Um, I'm working on sandstone and wondering what one could do with sandstone. I just kind of left those there. This is one of the deadlier entrances because um, this is kind of the sneaky way in one of the side entrances to the, to the structure. Um, and I need to figure out how I'm going to dress this up, but uh, having made it inside, you have to walk across a, a thin platform up to the stairs in order to get in. Uh, I thought that that was going to be a fun way to enter the space. And uh, then to keep things lit on the outside, there's more lava keeping everything bright and cheerful. Um, more corbling, more uh, there's the balancing of how high a full block is, a half block, and keeping the the parapet kind of going up and down and sawtoothing the way one expects. Um, 
the first things I originally drew for him were these tower corner bits um, where the the materials changed and you get to see the rhythm of the square and the arrow slits and then they turn into six squares at the top uh, sticking out from between the brackets and the corbel underneath and the, the sawtoothed um, parapet so that uh, you can defend your castle and shoot arrows down at people. Um, so this is the current state of affairs in Castle Grey. I don't know quite what I'm going to be doing next. I know I need to work on the keep. Um, the stairs are pretty much ready to go. I uh, don't entirely know uh, what I'm going to do with anything after the throne room. Um, this level, I'm not sure if there's going to be an, an entrance there or whether the entrance is going to be mostly at this level. So, because I haven't decided, they're still both kind of open. But there will be some entrance out to the mountains that are out here. And it happens to be an extreme hills biome. So we've got some fairly steep things happening. But um, with the defensive walls, I'm also going to bring the moat around at some point, And I'll probably have a lava flow passing down this wall which is why there's no windows along here yet. I need to figure out whether this is supposed to be really heavily fortified or just kind of imposing on the front. Um, decisions, decisions. So, yeah. Welcome to Castle Grey. And I will update with a new video when I have built more things. And uh, thanks for watching.